Latest since Sherry Papini, the California mom who faked being kidnapped in 2016, was released from prison earlier this year after serving time for lying to police. And now she's back in court facing off with her estranged husband. Eva Pilgrim here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. The once married mother of two now divorced. Sherry Papini finding herself before a judge again, even taking the witness stand, this time fighting with her now ex-husband over money. This morning, new exclusive images of Sherry Papini back in court. The California mom who lied to authorities about being kidnapped and tortured now appearing before a judge as part of her divorce proceedings. At time, visually emotional. I'm going to do everything I can to find my wife. Keith Papini, who searched for and then stood by his wife when she returned home, filing for a divorce after the hoax was revealed, a judge ending their 13-year marriage. Obviously, you've heard the questions, so you've seen some of the photos. From my side, but now now you're telling me, okay, you guys can go home now. Well, do you think I want her anywhere around my kids or around me at all at this point? Now, the couple in a heated fight over finances, including insurance money paid to the couple for home repairs when married. Sherry asking for her share of it, but Keith says that money is gone, in part to living expenses, like $500 a day to his mother while they lived with her. Sherry seen crying next to her attorneys, claiming she knew nothing about the payments and that Keith's control over their finances left her nothing in their divorce. But on the stand, Sherry repeatedly invoked the Fifth Amendment when asked about her own finances and how she paid her part of family expenses after she claimed she was kidnapped. The fact that she's been prosecuted in federal court doesn't prevent her from being prosecuted in state court. I'm assuming that her lawyer is trying to protect her from any new charges, maybe stemming and related to her prior actions, but it could be related to any new potential accusations and charges regarding their finances. Papini was released from federal prison in August after spending 18 months behind bars for faking her own kidnapping. In November of 2016, Sherry Papini vanished for 22 days, turning up on Thanksgiving morning on a highway nearly 150 miles from home. Papini telling authorities she'd been kidnapped by two Hispanic women, but nearly four years later, police discovering it was all a lie. Investigators say Papini planned her disappearance for months and spent the entire time she was missing at her ex-boyfriend's home. And the Pipinis have two kids together, a judge previously awarding Keith temporary custody. Guys. We remember this case oh so well, Eva. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.